Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time coming across my channel, my name is Kate. This is Kate Vlogs. Kindly consider subscribing. It is actually free of charge. Also, do not forget to tap the post notification bell so that you're alerted every time I upload a new video. shout out to all subscribers that always come back to watch my content thank you so much i always appreciate all of you always feel appreciated by the way on a serious note and something else um in today's video i decided to go to gikomba market so for those who are new in this channel i do plugging i plug you with business ideas i give you ideas that um, will make you think twice on the kind of business you're gonna start and I always tackle questions on profits capital needed and um, How you're going to get those products from wherever you are in this great Republic Because I also do shopping for people that are very very far away from Nairobi at a very very small fee and if you need those services kindly WhatsApp through the number on your screen right now So this is another business idea that I wanted to share with my online family. This is whereby you buy second-hand shoes and you sell them at an almost 200% profit. The shoes that you are seeing on your screen right now cost only 50 shillings. Feeling like the light has just come. We must never stop the way. Yeah. But Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a style Savannah I'm coming home Savannah We'll never be alone So these shoes that you're seeing on the screen right now I've said they, are, they cost only 50 shillings and that means that if you have 5,000 shillings, you will have 100 pairs of these shoes. And as you can see, they are in very, very good condition. And if you just wash them well and put some papers inside to give them shape, you can even sell them at 300 shillings or even 200 shillings. It will be, depend entirely on the market that you are targeting. So the only limitation about this kind of shoes that cost 50 shillings wholesale is that they do not have very very big sizes they only have kids sizes and the bigger size will only include number 35 to 39 so definitely that means that um, most of these shoes are mixed ladies and a bit of kids shoes so the mixed ladies shoes include um, rubbers we have sport shoes open shoes and the kids' shoes are, um, we have sports also, some open, and most of them really look very, very good, as you can see from your screen. The other category of shoes are those ones that cost 100 shillings, 150 shillings up to 200 shillings. So those ones will include mixed spot for kids and ladies and also a few of men's shoes and the sizes will always be 39 to 43. Um, so this means that if you have a lot of money, you are able to buy even the bigger sizes of shoes. small remainder those shoes that you buy at 50 shillings you're supposed to sell them at between 200 shillings and 300 shillings while those ones that you will buy at um, 100 to 200 shillings you will retail them at between 400 to 600 shillings depending on where you're going to sell them from
Wondering how to make a play all night Looking your way from out of sight Thinking I should ask if you're doing alright You weren't easy, so hard to ignore Kindly subscribe if you haven't And also give this video a thumbs up Because that is how you support my content here on YouTube Fall for somebody like me When you ask my name, I panic So out of my league And your body was so magnetic Before I knew it, we the third category of shoes are those ones that will well sell at 300 to 400 shillings and Mizile Zenyetunita sports shoes Kali. So these sports shoes include sneakers that are sizes uh, between 42 and 44 shillings and they are very very clean and ready for sale. They do not require you to go and start washing and uh, like going to the fundi to, to, to make them at least because they are already clean ready for sale so the shoes that you'll buy at 300 to 400 shillings wholesale you are going to retail them at between 1000 to 1500 shillings also, if you have a customer that would want to buy them at between 700 to 1000 shillings, you should never refuse to take that money. category of shoes that are sold in Gikomba market include those shoes that are called labels and they include shoes that are labeled Nike, Adidas, Puma, those brands. So these are shoes that are very okay, not not very expensive, but they will um they will wholesale at around 1000 shillings. That is the wholesale price. Yes, you heard me right, 1000 shillings. And the best thing about these shoes is that they are very very clean they look brand new no need for repair or washing they are ready for the market and most people will retail them at between 3500 to 5000 shillings The challenge about getting the labels are the, the likes of Adidas, Nike, Fila, those ones. So the challenge is here. You can only get them if you are in Gikomba as early as 4 a.m. So those labels, when you want to stock the labels, you only need like um, around 10,000 shillings, buy 10 pairs and go and make... 200% or 300% profit. Something else that I wanted to mention at this point is that if you want to come to Gikomba and get these 50 bob shoes, uh, you're supposed to be there when the bells are being opened by the owners of those bells. And you're supposed to have cash at hand so that if you take 10 pairs, you pay 500 shillings. If you take 100 pairs, you pay 5,000 shillings. There is no time to negotiate or anything because everybody is waiting for that bell to be opened and therefore is first come, first served basis. So if you take your sweet time to walk to Gikomba um, and then you go to those shoe places at 11 a.m. at 12 p.m. You will find that the bells were opened long time ago and the bell sellers are already at home. Now, what am I talking about? So if you want to get this kind of shoes, if you want to be there when the bells are being opened, you should be in Gikomba before dawn.
So these socks that you're seeing right now on your screen include um, 50 pairs. Uh, the small one is 50 pairs of shoes and then the two other socks are 100 pairs each. So um, those are a total of 250 uh, pairs of shoes that are going straight to Eldridge Town. And in Gikomba we have people that can choose shoes for you and in this case I'm going to uh, link you with um, a few people that will do that for you if you are in need of such plugs but you have to whatsapp me terms and conditions apply Each pair is a cost of 50 bucks 50 bucks per pair is 250 pairs eh? So we can get for 50 bucks uh, The 50 bucks is not easy They are very nice ones by the way It's only they are dirty if you are to see smart, smart sound of this one. If you imagine it's a 50 bob, you can see, eh? It's a 50 bob, this is auto. So, easy anywhere, any destination, attacker from Webuye, from Eldoret, from Makuru, Kisi, anywhere, any county, to Makutumia. In a lorry and uh, matatus, you can come from, any, from every side, from every side of this country, eh? So, Kitaka to Makutumia, you just send money, you have my contacts, you send money, you describe the type of shoes you want. You want to prefer a total, you want to prefer big sizes, but you want to prefer mixed, like this one, they are mixed. You can see like this one, it's a medium size and there is a tindogo up and so easily mixed sizes. But certain is a 50. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I love food. Disadvantage is a 50. Disadvantage is most of them zikona uh, kadent kadogo like uh, i'll show you like this one eh? to dent to dogo you need to refill maybe with some glue okay. dogo evil too and then the, the other disadvantage the sizes because what wana kuja kwa market ni watu tofauti wakona migu size tofauti wengine wataka migu size kubo of which you can't find those shoes na hiyo price ya 50 bob hizi ni medium sizes and kids only medium sizes and kids ndizo utapata at 50 bob sawa yeah that is from that from size zawatoi any size up to size 39 ile kubwa ile kubwa maximum size is 39 for 50 bob ndizo unaweza pata sawa Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way But yeah. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Also, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment down below on your thoughts about today's video and I'm gonna see you on my next video.